Hello, in this video and I'll be discussing filters in LabVIEW. Uh, I already have a basic program set up over here. This is a program, this part is to generate my signal and then I have a sub VI which leads me to my filter. I have chosen Butterworth filter. You can choose this option from the functions palette going to signal processing <coughs> and then filters. So there are several options over here you can choose Butterworth from. I have created this control. Uh, we can switch between the different options. As you can see, that I have options between high pass, low pass, band pass, and band stop. So whatever option we want, we can select from here. This is the order of the equation, and I have several more controls over here. So this is the input array, input signal. Uh, I have this my sampling frequency. I have my frequency bounds and my center frequency. So all this can be uh, set according to the needs and over here I have output array. So this one is my output. I have created a sub VI using this and you can see in the front panel that I have my signal. So I'm using just two uh, signals like this one is the input and the output of the array. Other things I have constant in my uh, program. So coming back to the main program, then I have a waveform uh, graph and then I am viewing the frequencies I am storing. So this is a program and how we can set the filters in LabVIEW. Now if I go to my program and run it, I see that for different uh, waves I am getting the graphs. We can also choose between different filters as you can see that we have the options over here and this is a simple of a simple program illustration to uh, to use the butterworth filters and what we can do is we can change the frequencies over here as you can see that i have a front panel so i want to if i want to change the frequencies i can change the frequencies from here itself and these two options i've chosen as well And now if I go back, I have this uh, transform over here from which I am generating the, uh, the frequency uh, values uh, in the output. So that's how we can use a Butterworth filter in LabVIEW.